Hello happy people, hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at another short story in the Margaret St. Clair Best of Collection. This time we're taking a look at the nine page 1956 short story entitled Wines of the Earth. Uh, Wines of the Earth has a very interesting premise. Uh, the basic core idea of this about nine page short story, uh, didn't even take 20 minutes for me to knock it out last night. Uh, for, for me to read it. Uh, the core idea of this short story um, this is that our, our main point of view character is a vineyard uh, winemaker um, who owns a vineyard in Napa Valley. Um, he doesn't get a whole lot of money, but it's a big love for him, and he really enjoys winemaking as a profession. And uh, a group of people who are aliens from another planet who are also winemakers are doing a wine tasting tour of the earth. Uh, and they arrive to his vineyard, and so he shares some of the world's Earth's best wines, and then he, then they also share the vintage that they grow on their planet, and he drinks it, and that's it. That's the short story. It's a pretty quick short story. Now, I enjoy that this short story is much more of a down-to-earth short story, like a couple of other ones uh, that I've read in this collection by Margaret St. Clair. One of those was an Egg in the Month Club set in the future uh, where somebody got an, a month of egg of the month and raised it and much of that was just about the raising of an egg um, another one was about a deep freezer um, and putting some things in the deep freezer and getting different things out these are much more just sort of different and interesting ideas much more down to earth much more uh you know in, in interesting uh, and so i enjoy them um, and this is another example it's just it's just uh, a wine tasting journey uh, that many people take on vacation, only in this case it's Zale Lane's going to Earth for a few hours. Uh, and I enjoy that core concept. Um, it's really fun. Uh, it's set in contemporaneous, although again it's published in 1956, so contemporaneous then would be, you know, past tense for us, but it's not set in the future. There's no anything, there, there, there are no, no science fiction elements here, um, except for the, the aliens, and even the aliens themselves look like humans. So there's not any particular like major things that are happening here. Uh, and that's it. I'm giving this a 7 out of 10. It's lots of fun. It's a nice reading. Um, it's a well done. I think it has a clever premise. Um, and I really enjoy this short story. Now we're doing a deep dive into Margaret St. Clair because uh, her name was listed on uh, Gary Gygax's Appendix N at the end of his 1979 Adv Adventures uh, Dungeons and Masters Guide uh, in the first edition of Dungeons and Dragons. And in that appendix, he lists uh, his, the influences to the early game, as well as places to go for inspiration. So this collection I purchased and done a deep dive into, and it's been mostly science fiction with a couple of token uh, horror short stories here and there. Um, and most of the short stories have been going to 7-2, as, as of this one, I give it a 6-1, and 8-3, and now I'm almost done. i got like about four, four, four or five short stories left. So now I'm on the last leg, if you will, of this collection. Uh, but I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have too. Again, I'll link you to it in the comments below. If you like this video, I hope you've, you, so what did you think of it? Have you read it? What did you think of this short story? If, uh, whatever your take is of it, I'd be happy to engage you with it further in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow. Um, and then thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my videos. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling and I appreciate it. Thanks again and have an amazing day.